This is the hillside in Bolivia where a deputy interior minister is said to have been kidnapped and beaten to death by striking miners. Everything indicates that our vice minister of the interior, Rodolfo Ilianes, was killed in a cowardly and brutal way. We are organizing to receive the body. We are deeply pained. Ilianes is reported to have gone to talk to the protesters, but was intercepted and seized. Authorities say 100 people have since been arrested. Protests by miners turned violent this week after a main highway was blockaded. Two workers killed in shooting on Wednesday, 17 police reported wounded. The miners were once strong allies of leftist President Evo Morales, but his government has been hampered by accusations of cronyism in recent years. His once strong base of union support now seen eroding. What we can say about Bolivia is that certainly this isn't the first time we've heard this sort of news. In fact, this sort of news uh, stretches back uh, over, uh, over decades. So from that point of view, perhaps it's not as, as shocking coming from Bolivia as it would be uh, from uh, some other countries. I think it's fair to say if you are an investor, then yes, you do treat uh, any Bolivia uh, investments with a, a huge deal of caution. In one of South America's poorest economies, the miners are calling for less stringent environmental regulation, the right to work for private companies and greater union representation.